guys, I am back in the UK and it's a very exciting day today. I've arrived at the photography show in Birmingham, which happens to be the biggest photo show in Europe. And I'm one of the keynote speakers, so I'm, uh, I'm heading now to do a talk. I'm a little bit nervous, but we've been preparing for the last few days. I'm with Laura. Also, Comic-Con's happening here. So after I've done my talk and walked around a bit, I might pop into Comic-Con and check it out. The power of social photography. Here I am, guys, at the super stage. Hi, Ali. Hey. Hi. Guys, look at this venue. This is 500 seats here. At this stage, I don't know how many people are coming, but it's a little, I'm a little bit nervous, I've got to admit. Do you think I'm gonna do okay, Laura? Oh, you're gonna do so well. It's yeah. gonna be a good talk. Good. Okay, this is what it feels like being on stage. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. So I'm not gonna use this podium mic. I'm actually gonna get one of the, um, the headsets so I can stroll around. I'm gonna have a slideshow that I can see here going up on the screens. Whew. I don't think I've rehearsed quite enough, but I think it's gonna be all right, guys. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna pull it off. I grew up in the suburbs of Surrey in a very creative family. And right from the start, gained a passion for photography and cameras from my dad. This is me and my dad when I was younger. In fact, cameras were such a central part to my family that when my parents got married, instead of taking a wedding ring, my dad asked my mum to buy him a camera. Along came Fun for Louis and started thinking this was an opportunity for me to travel the world and not just share about um, one tiny strange aspect of my life, but all of the things I'm doing and exploring the world and started realizing I can use this platform and the power it has to inspire people to go and have their own adventures. And so I decided to make videos every single day of my life, uh, like a little video diary. I'd you know, carry a camera around. It began, it began with a very small camera and I would just kind of share a bit about my life and what I was up to and who I was hanging out with. And on that journey, I coined the phrase, this is my little slogan that I sign out my videos, peace out, enjoy life, and live the adventure. And that was my personal message to my audience that I was building. All of these guys here create content online, whether it's video or uh, a lot of these guys are Instagrammers. And it made sense to me. I've got this team who have just really honed in these skills and learned some really hard lessons about what works and what doesn't work. And I'd love to be able to support other people in doing that and expand the team and, and build it away from just fun for Louis. So we've set up a social media travel management agency called Live the Adventure. I now have seven employees, a Cape Town office and a London office. And this is just, this has been the most exciting transition for me. Okay, guys, my talk is over. I think I pulled it off. Like, there could have been a few improvements, but overall, pretty happy. Um, yeah, a very new experience for me. I'm not used to doing things out of my comfort zone, but... That was good. And now I'm, I'm doing like a little interview now with some people. I don't know who. The photography show. The photography show. Yeah. <laughs> you have just come off the super stage where yeah. you've been talking about the power of social photography. What did you talk about? I talked about, I guess, my own journey. Um, that's why I'm getting this knowledge from on my own social journey is what is possible when you're posting online and what, what things can happen from it. And I talked about building a career, building a business, but also the positive impact you can have on people's lives and the social impact you can have. And yeah, what, what I want to do to harness that power to, to do good in the world. Live the Adventure yeah. is, is a thing that you're working on at the moment. Tell us more about that. So last year, after years of kind of doing my own stuff with Fun for Louis, posting on my own channels, I just thought, what's the next step for me? What do I really want to do? I want to build something beyond myself it's you know my name's in the title of what I'm doing and um, it dawned on me let's build a, a, a collective of, of other travel creators and essentially with all the experience we've learned with managing brand deals and stuff we can also run that as like a, a creative agency like a management company okay. so we have a, a bunch of other uh, kind of travel creators now on board and yeah we've We've called it Live the Adventure. And it's a lot more than just a management company, but we want to be doing kind of impactful trips. We're going out to Borneo in May. 
to highlight some of the deforestation problems happening out there. We're going to an orangutan rescue centre. And yeah, we just want to be doing, use this platform to do really good things as a, a bigger group and our wider audience. And yeah. So I've just been hanging out with Molly and Christy. We've been filming some videos on their channel, which I'll link below. But we've just rushed out because next door, like I mentioned earlier, um, Comic Con is happening and they're about to do a Stormtrooper procession through the photography show. Those are legit costumes. What is this? I was not expecting this today. <laughs> oh my goodness. I really want to high five a Stormtrooper, but I don't know if that's going to happen. <laughs> high five, high five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is great. This is so great. Like, Check this out. Look at all the predators. This is crazy. Okay, that was pretty crazy, guys. Um, I'm strolling over to the Sony booth now. I'm going to meet some other people, and then hopefully I'll get a chance to wander around and see some of the other gadgets and stands here. Like all the brands are here today, and apparently a few of them might be like announcing new product releases. So I'm. Very excited. Okay guys, I've just found this incredible company called Loom Cube. This is Riley. He's just been talking to me about how amazing these products are. And this is what excites me, is you can put them on a drone and this drone can fly. And this photo back here, this was taken by the Phantom 4 uh, flying with these lights on. So I've got a little pack of lights and I'm gonna take these on my travels and test them out. Thanks bro. Uh, you Thank you <laughs> Thanks. so much guys. So I'll keep, I'll keep you guys posted and um, yeah, I love finding new tech, I love it. These events, I'm just like a kid in a candy shop. So guys, it's, it's coming to the end of the day and I just bumped into Kai and his team of friends and if you've watched any camera tutorial <laughs> at any point in your life, you probably recognise this guy from the Digital Rev stuff. He's doing his, his own thing now uh, and these guys, go and check him out in the description. We're trying to plan to do some kind of collaboration video, a trip or something. So if you've got any suggestions, please comment below. Maybe trying out some new gear. Have you got any ideas? I've got some brewing, but yeah. uh, we should find out. Yeah. And what, what are you doing, just to update my audience, what's your plan, what are you doing on your channel? Just moment? working on my own channel, figuring out how to take it up a notch rather than just doing the same stuff. Okay. Look, this is my vlogging setup. This is a bit extreme as a vlogging setup, but um, no, that's exciting, bro. And it's good to finally meet. We've been talking for a totally. while, yeah. and uh, we've finally connected, so watch this space. I'm not that sure, but you're I'm massive. Like a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, cheers. Okay. Guys, I've just noticed this. What even is this? It's a 2000 mil lens. Oh my gosh, that's incredible. That probably weighs more than everything I ever take with me traveling. Right, we better go. We've got a train to catch in less than an hour. We need to go back to the hotel and grab our stuff. Kind of sad I can't stick around longer, but it's been a, it's been a fun day. It's been fun, hasn't it? It's been so good. I've had a good time. I've learned how to get my geek on. Yeah. With, uh, with cameras. Do you know all the do you know do you know all the I lingo? I know that I'm going to get the Sony number five, <laughs> um, and it's got some lenses and very nice pictures. Yeah, good 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 yeah, talk. Thanks. We managed to grab our bags from our rooms and run to the train station. I'm like dripping now, so hot. Uh, but we made our train, got like 10 minutes to the leaves. We're cruising back to London now. Well, I am now back down in Surrey. I'm staying with my parents this week whilst I'm back in the UK. Today was a very special day for me, guys, because that was the first real talk I've ever done for any significant amount of time. I hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't check out the full version of the talk, because uh, I left a few snippets in today's vlog, but uh, I will link that below unlisted. You can go and check that out. And um, yeah, I'd love to know what you think and how I could improve my public speaking. It's something I'd like to do more of. And yeah, it would be cool to share a bit more of my life on a stage. And uh, yeah, I don't know, I like, pushing out my comfort zone, so it's been enjoyable. Wednesday I'm going down to hang out with Zoe and Alfie and I think Joe and some others and yeah, it's just, I'm gonna make the most of my time back in the UK before jetting off again. I'll catch you guys in the morning. Peace out, enjoy life, and live the adventure. Boom. <laughs>